Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exalted Astrology. I'm just back from Hamburg and I was like today I didn't upload any video but there are many videos which I have scheduled for upload in the next days. But today we will discuss on something which recently a person had mailed me regarding. So that person said to me that it's over, that's it, end of the story. <laughs> Everything has fallen apart. Everything is finished. Nothing is remaining. There was something which the person was trying to do from long, long, long time, but it couldn't happen. And whatever he wanted, exactly that, the reverse of that happened. And whatever he did not want, exactly that happened. <laughs> so that happens uh, with us also most of the times, or at least sometimes, I guess. But with me, it happens most of the times. <laughs> You have a plan and then God has his own plans, yes. So, I've seen uh, many of these spiritual personalities also facing these kind of problems. Many of my seniors, my gurus, myself included in that and so many other people. So, the other day that person asked me, everything has fallen apart, what should I do? So, what should we do when everything has fallen apart, alright? So, that we are going to discuss. I hope it will be a short video. <laughs> Okay, so if you're new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation from me regarding your horoscope or if your life has also fallen apart, then you, you can go to my website to book a reading. You will find the link to the website in the description section of the videos below. All the videos go down, description section you will find it, okay? And if you like this video, click the thumbs up and share it with somebody whose life has just fallen okay <laughs> and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and hopefully you find him like i found him yesterday <laughs> oh my god yesterday i found god yes i had uh, <clears throat> gone to hamburg yesterday for govardhan puja celebrations it was amazing the, there was a lot of indians there in the tuhh college which is in hamburg and it was a wonderful celebration we had Gordhan Puja, they made a Gordhan mountain out of Suji Halwa. Yes, and there were biscuits, there were pastries, there were cakes, there were this, that. <laughs> Amazing it was. Okay, so what to do when everything has fallen apart? My God, somebody is messaging me. I will switch this off. <laughs> so in the scriptures, we have the examples of great personalities. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, there is examples of many personalities, especially the 12 Mahajans. Yamraj is also one of the 12 Mahajans. He says this to the Yamadutas when Yamadutas go to bring the life of Ajamil. This is there in Srimad Bhagavatam. It's a very, very, very famous story where Yamraj himself says, Swambhu Narada Shambhu Kumaro Kapilo Manu Prahlado Janako Bhishmo Balir Vaya Sakhi Vayam. He says, 11 great personalities and myself included in that. <laughs> so, total 12. Alright. So, the Bhagavatam also says, Mahajano Yena Gata Sapanta. Which means that whenever we are in distress, we are in trouble. We do not know what to do. Because that's what happens, right? When everything falls apart in your life. We don't know what to do. Because... We were building something which was very concrete according to us, but everything has fallen, you see. So, when there is downfall in our life, when there is reversal in our life, we must always revert back to the scriptures. We should read and analyze the lives of the great personalities. For example, the 12 Mahajans. There are many Mahajans actually, but these 12 are specifically mentioned. You take the life of anybody. Let's talk of a technically, officially non-Mahajan. <laughs> yes, non-Mahajan. <laughs> he's not in the list of this 12, but he's also a Mahajan, of course. Hanumanji's example, we know. It is said in the Ramayana that one of the speakers, uh, I was listening to him one day, he was telling that there was a time when Hanumanji was in depression. He was planning to commit suicide. Oh my God, but Hanumanji is all powerful. How can he commit suicide? Is there anything else which Hanumanji can't do? I mean, Krishna lifted the Gwardhan. 
in this finger but he also lifted the drone giri parvat right hanuman ji we all know whenever lord ram would need anything he would always direct hanuman get it <laughs> he was like his right and left both the hands although he was not the king but all the major feats they have only been achieved by hanuman apart from the killing of kumbhakarna and ravana and meghna then all these personalities but how does it happen sometimes that even a personality like hanuman gets into depression yes 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 he was depressed when he wanted to find mother sita but he could not find the entire team which had gone that side jambava anga nal neel and hanuman they had gone to that direction and they did not find anybody they did not find so there was so much in depression what to do what to do what to do but finally somehow they found and then hanuman ji was out of the depression but the point which i am trying to say here is that sometimes this material world can be so overwhelming that we might end up feeling like that that we don't want to live anymore we don't want to survive the 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 sustenance itself becomes so difficult that it feels like a burden it's like saying that why should i try to die <laughs> because i am dying every i am dying every moment right so the person feels that better i end end this life yes you might feel it sometimes i feel it sometimes everybody can feel it sometimes but when we get those panic attacks then we should revert to the scriptures we should see the examples of great personalities one of the examples which i always give is of yudhishthira maharaj i will again give that example that when there was this gambling match shakuni had tricked that game the game of dice and then yudhishthira maharaj lost everything he lost himself he lost his brothers everything was lost he became a pop popper within within moments he was the he had done rajasuya yagya which means he was the undisputed emperor of the entire continent entire india entire world that time but he became a popper whoever we are we are not like yudhishthira maharaj we are not that rich <laughs> indra prast was the name of his capital it was more opulent than amaravati in indra's uh, city it is said like that it is also said about ayodhya that ayodhya was more prosperous than amaravati because in scriptures whenever they give a comparison they always compare cities with amaravati that you will always find but the predicament was that within moments he lost everything they all of them became das das means servants slaves not even servants that means whatever duryodhana would say they have they had to agree to that so imagine the situation of arjuna arjuna is known as savya sachi savya sachi means one who is unparalleled there is nothing which the person cannot do in the entire battlefield of kurukshetra there was no warrior like him there was no warrior just imagine his situation he was the most handsome the most intelligent the most powerful the most heroic most chivalrous he was the epitome of all masculine qualities krishna says in the gita among pandavas i am arjun pandava naam dhananjay krishna says that take the example of bhim bhima had so much strength that nobody can even ima- imagine body builders of today there's no comparison he son of vayu after all hanuman ji is also <laughs> so he's like the hanuman of mahabharat the amount of damage that arjun and bhim inflicted on the kauravas nobody the entire army of the pandavas combined and alone arjun and bhim <laughs> that's it but these personalities also people like them including yudhishthira maharaj yudhishthira maharaj is known as dharmaraj he is yamaraj himself of course but he is known as dharmaraj which means he is the epitome of those who follow religious principles but that day in the gambling match they lost everything and everything was fixed 
Shakuni already knew how to win the gambling match. <laughs> yes. And then Dwapadi was disrobed. There were people, there were people in the assembly like Karna who said to Dwapadi that, oh, anyways, you have five husbands. If you have one more husband, what is the problem, you know? And then Duryodhana was inviting Dwapadi to her, to his thighs, as they say in Hindi, Jang. He was hitting his thighs again and again like this. And he was telling, come, 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 sit here. So imagine, it is said about Draupadi that when she, uh, wherever she used to go, the, that her body used to emit fragrance of lotus petals. She did not need any deodorant or perfume or any kind of soap or shampoo these days. <laughs> she was a divine lady, of course. And then that, that, that divine lady, she was dragged to the assembly. Can you imagine? And then Duryodhana said, strip her of the clothes. And Karna also said, Any, anyways, a woman who has uh, five husbands is... Is, is anyways a harlot so what's the use of having clothes in the body of a harlot yes and then Dushasan took the sari and he started pulling of course by Krishna's grace her honor was saved but just imagine the predicament of these people whatever has happened with us at least it is not that bad let's admit let's be honest take the situation of Draupadi she, after the Kurukshetra war was over she lost her sons. Ashwatthama brutally murdered them. Ashwatthama murdered her brother also, Drishtadyumna. And Dronacharya killed her father, Drupad. So she lost her father, brother, sons. Nobody was there except the Pandavas. Only the Pandavas survived, who were related to her. Okay. So whatever might have happened with us, but at least our predicament is not like hers. Can you imagine you are getting, you are catching hold of your clothes like this. And somebody is trying to pull your clothes down. And there is a, like a live telecast going on. Imagine the entire world is watching. Yes, it is described in the scriptures that when Dushasan started pulling the sari, she tried to she tried her hands first of all she was holding the sari with the hands then she was holding the arms <laughs> and then she was running oh bhishma pitama please save me dronacharya please save me yudhishthir maharaj please save me <laughs> arjun please save me you are the one who had won my hand now please save me <laughs> she's running here she's running there from here to there and at the end, what she does, she bites her sari like this. That was her. That was the situation which she was in. Such a serious predicament. And after that also, no use. Dushasan was pulling, 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 and then she realized that's it. I can't. And then she had raised her hands high up in the air and then she said, Oh Krishna, please save me. <laughs> and the scriptures tell us that she had complete faith that Krishna will protect her honor. Whatever has happened with us, but at least our situation is not like hers. Mm -hmm. So just imagine the predicament of these personalities. So when we study the lives of these great personalities, then we will get inspiration to be ourselves during the time of disaster. Because that's the name, Yudhish, that's the meaning of the name Yudhishthir Maharaj had. Yudhishthir Maharaj, the meaning of the word Yudhishthira is, Yudhi is war or a warlike situation or anything which torments you, which tortures you, that kind of a situation, that is Yuddha. Sthira means to remain calm. He was that kind of a person who used to be calm even when uh, there was war. Can you imagine? Take the example of Bhishma Pitama. What not this person has seen my word. 
there is nothing which he has not seen mahabharat is nothing but a story of bhishma pitama that's it not, nothing else mahabharat is only that we know the story we know the entire mahabharat so imagine what this person would have felt when he got the news that duryodhana and dushasana and shakuni these three karna was not there that time they had planned to poison bhima and later on when karna also joined them in the youth then they had arranged for this lakshagra to burn the pandavas along with mother kunti bhishma knew all of these of course lakshagra he came to know after the conspiracy if he would have known it before he would have definitely tried to stop it imagine how he would have felt both the pandavas and the kauravas are his own blood his own blood is fighting with each other <laughs> imagine but still at the end when he was lying in the arrow bed for 52 days some say 46 some say 47 some say 57 days whatever it is for 50 to 60 days he was speaking on raj dharm on this dharm that dharm he was on his death bed arrow bed and krishna had sent yudhishthir maharaj that my dear yudhishthir go yudhishthir maharaj had a identity crisis after the war arjuna had the crisis before starting of the war he was thinking that how can i kill all these people and after the war ended yudhishthir maharaj got this crisis that oh my god because of me because of my greed there is this bloodshed everybody has been slaughtered just because of me then krishna told him no it's not like this it's not because of you it is because of their own misdeeds they have suffered we had to kill these culprits the kauravas otherwise it was impossible for dharma to be restored it is not possible till the time they are there because the kauravas dushasan shakuni karana and all all the kauravas they are pillars of sin what there is no sin which they have not done so if they are alive they will not let dharma flourish in this world so it was essential for their blood to be taken but yudhishthir maharaj is like no <laughs> it is because of me it has happened <laughs> then krishna he is god himself goes and tries to convince him and then god fails to convince him yes that's the shrimad bhagavatam you see god is also failing then the parmatma which is there inside yudhishthir maharaj's heart who, who is shirodaksha vishnu actually krishna's expansion that parmatma tries to convince yudhishthir maharaj oh my dear yudhishthir it is not your fault <laughs> and then shaktyavesh avatar vyasdev who is the author of all the scriptures vyasdev comes and tries to convince vyasdev also can't convince <laughs> now how in the universe can the shaktyavesh avatar and god himself krishna and the vishnu who is there for an at vishnu form they cannot convince yudhishthir maharaj how is it that means they are not god right because god means he should be able to do everything anything anywhere anytime <laughs> but krishna wanted to show how great bhishma pitama was he is one of the 12 mahajans it is there in this list swayam bhu narada shambhu kumaro kapilo manu prahlado janako bhishma this bhishma what is there in that balirvaya sakhi vayam and then krishna says to yudhishthir maharaj go to bhishma he will speak to you and after 52 days when bhishma stops yudhishthir maharaj is convinced <sighs> thank god <laughs> i am not responsible for the death so krishna wanted to show how great this person was and just just to show more how of how great bhishma was on that famous day on the 10th day of the kurukshetra war when bhishma says to duryodhana that you are goading me always that i don't fight 
with my heart so today either i will kill one of the pandavas or i will force krishna to lift a weapon because krishna had taken a vow that he will not lift weapons and then when krishna sees that bhishma is going on slaughtering the entire forces of the pandavas it was like the commanders of the pandavas of the pandava army they went and told to yudhishthir maharaj today it seems bhishma is not fighting it seems yamraj is fighting today is he it's like a catastrophe it's like a tsunami you can't stop him they said that today if bhishma is not stopped if we do not protect our army we will be finished we will be wiped out today the war is going to end nobody is able to stop because he was known as the grand sire the grand sire is infallible today he cannot be stopped that was his greatness <laughs> even arjuna bhima everybody combined they could not stop him can you imagine and then krishna decided that's it end of the story <laughs> he picked up the chariot wheel which was lying down nearby and he went and he charged but then of course <clears throat> arjuna said to him that i promise tomorrow i will kill bhishma i promise you i promise you i promise you please put the wheel down <laughs> what will people say you took a vow and because of me you are not following the vow i will not let that happen please put your weapon down and tomorrow bhishma will be killed so that was the greatness of this personality can you imagine and what not things he had seen so many generations 3 4 5 6 7 generations they are cutting each others they are like running after each others blood our situation is not that bad <laughs> for us what happens oh there is a break up we lost our job somebody better somebody abused us this happened that happened whatever has happened it will never be the to that extent that the pandava suffered that bhishma pitama suffered that draupadi suffered never ever it will happen and when that only happens we are like oh end of the story we don't want to live anymore <laughs> so there is distress there is no denial of this fact krishna says in the gita dukhala mashashvatam napnu vanti mahatmana samsiddhim paramam gata he says dukhala mashashvatam this that this material world is a place of misery so there will be misery if you touch water you will get wet you cannot touch water expecting to not get wet wherever there is material desire there is suffering material desire either fulfilled or unfulfilled ultimately ends up in suffering suppose it is not fulfilled kodhat bhavati sammodhat sammodhat smriti vibhrama smriti bhamshat buddhi nasho buddhi nashat pranashyati if material desire is fulfilled then you want more 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 काम एष क्रोध एष रजो गुण समुद्भव महाशनो महापात्मा विधे नमी वैरिण काम एष क्रोध एष वेन काम इज अनफुलफिल्ड वेन डिजायर इज अनफुलफिल्ड इट बिकम्स एंगर क्रोध एष रजो गुण समुद्भव फ्रॉम द मोड ऑफ पैशन दिस कम्स महाशनो महापात्मा विधे नमी वैरिण Oh Arjuna, this is the greatest enemy of mankind. Krishna says in the Gita, this is the greatest enemy of mankind. So we have to see the story of stories of these great personalities who are the Mahatmas, basically. Because Krishna says in the Gita also, Mahatma nastu mam partha daivim prakriti maashitam bhajanti ananya manaso gyatva bhuta dima vyayam. and he also says manushyanam sahastreshu kaschid yatati siddhai yatatam api siddhanam kaschin maam veti tattvata he says mahatmanas tu maam partha o partha mahatma zar one who daivim prakriti maashritam one who takes shelter in my divine potency divine potency means spiritual potency bhajanti ananya manaso gyatva bhutadi mavyay he speaks about me knowing me to be the cause of all causes the end of it all 
मनुष्याणाम शास्त्रु मनुष्याणाम शास्त्रु आउट ऑफ थाउजेंड दे ट्राई वन विल ट्राई टू नो मी एंड आउट ऑफ दैट वन विल सम हाउ फाइनली एट द एंड रीच मी सो वेन वी असोसिएट विथ सच ग्रेट पर्सनैलिटीज फिजिकली बाय विजिटिंग स्पिरिचुअल सेंटर्स इन आवर सिटी इन आवर डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन आवर टाउन इन आवर विलेज और इन आवर कंट्री और इन आवर कॉन्टिनेंट एंड वाई वाय दी ईयर्स ईयर्स मीन्स वेन वी रीड दी स्क्रिप्चर्स देन वी विल हियर कृष्णा इज टेलिंग अर्जुन ओ वाचा कृष्णा इज टेलिंग श्री भगवान वाचा युधिष्ठि महाराज इज टेलिंग युधिष्ठि उवाच वेन वी रीड दी स्क्रिप्चर्स लाइक दि रामायण दि महाभारत श्रीमद भागवतम देन वी विल सी how the great personalities behaved with integrity even in midst of such terrible circumstances out of which we are not even facing 0.0000001% we are not even facing that but when we do not know about them we do not have any idea of god's plan of spiritual consciousness we do not know the law of karma when we are just gossiping about who is having an affair or who won the cricket match or when is the new show starting for this series then we are in distress because then that's it end of the world when we are just drinking we are just indulging in sex with the opposite sex but nowadays maybe with the same sex also yes recklessly <laughs> going on indulging in wine meat then that's it anything happens end of the world <laughs> so don't end your life be spiritually enlightened or at least start and then you will know how great personalities they behaved amidst of calamity so when we know their lives we we can understand that it may also happen to us if it happened to them because material world is a place of misery and krishna says napnu anti mahatmana samsiddhim paramam gata which means if you take shelter of me you will cross over this now krishna is not putting a inferiority complex on everybody oh what he will do you know material world is a place of misery that's not the thrust of the shloka the thrust of the shloka is napnu anti mahatmana samsiddhim paramam gata he will attain ultimate destination paramam gata okay so that is what krishna is wanting to say that we read the scriptures we enlighten ourselves spiritually then we understand that this life is not all in all this life is one of the junctions in our spiritual journey then even if our marriage is not that great or if our son or daughter doesn't listen to us it's still okay <laughs> you'll still be pain but you'll be like okay anyways <laughs> that's my karma what to do now that doesn't mean that somebody is beating you or they are abusing you stay with them i am not saying that but tolerance is required at all levels okay so that's what i wanted to say that we need to read the scriptures we need to associate with holy people who will always help us understand uh, that this life is only fulfilled when we try to dedicate ourselves to spiritual to a spiritual cause which does not mean that we go to the forest we renounce our families and all no it doesn't mean that but we have to inculcate daily spiritual practices in our life by which we get spiritual enlightenment and then we realize that god is there with me all the time just i need to look to him and hopefully i find him <laughs> okay so there you go if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who you think has been shattered totally <laughs> okay and if you want a consultation then please go to my website you will find the link to the website in the description section of my videos below okay until next time wish you good luck bye bye see you